All right, uh, start off with the maintenance update for you all. We've been cutting the rush on 159. We've replaced pipes on Springer Road and East Morris Hill. We have asphalt patched the pipe crossings on Route 18, Callahan Circle, Callahan School Road, Rogers Road, and East Morris Hill Road. We've been grading on Cove Creek Road and Castile's Hickory Hill, Ramsey Road, and Route 770. Uh, we removed some hazard trees on routes. Uh, 42, 269, and 696. We're doing shoulder work on Route 621, Roaring Run, and uh, 775, Shoulder Tree Lane. Uh, we're doing pipe cleaning and doing debris removal and cold mix patching on the primary and secondary routes countywide. And one thing I would like to bring to your attention, um, we are going to be doing a lot of work in the Mount and Brooklyn area. Um, in preparation for our paving schedule, it's going to be going out that way. So we've got some pipe replacements, some shoulder work, and um, some ditching that's going to be done in that area that's going to impact where people park. We're going to be putting a message board up. The plan is to start on the 20th of this month, um, but it's going to look a little ugly at first and we'll be about better when you're So I just wanted to give folks a heads up because that impacts a lot of folks in the area. And any questions that you all have for me? No more questions or comments, Ms. Um, do you know, Susan, uh, I don't have the um, address right off with me, but it's one we've spoken about before. Uh, Ms. Callahan, I believe her name is Callahan's property. She passed away, but if, if you're going, um, if you're going towards West Virginia, you pass Rogers, what is it, Rogers, I can't Rogers. remember what, Rogers, Rogers Road. Road, maybe that, but um, it's the, uh, so there's a house there that sort of you can't see because of the weeds and stuff and then you have uh, Angela Caldwell's house and then the next house um, that ditch uh, when I had went up there several weeks ago now I took some pictures and um, I know that they I thought they said they had cleaned it out but it, it's it's just like full it doesn't look to me like it has been cleaned out so um, I'm not for sure maybe it was the wrong area they cleaned out or I wouldn't have thought it would have grown up that quick and gotten all that in the, in the ditch. Now, it looks to me like it would still be in the B dots, on, on, I guess, from the, um, the amount from the road. Is this, still in, is this in the 311 section? Or no, no, no. This, is, no. this isn't even my district. This is uh, Angela Caldwell's, um, like, five, five, I want to say 5,000 block. Rogers Holler. It's right past there, but it's right before if you get on the interstate um, up there. So if you're if you're going uh, past uh, Callahan School, gotcha. Okay. I know where everything is. Okay. Yeah. But I believe Miss Callahan passed away. But Angela Caldwell is the house on top of the hill, um, and I want to say maybe his name is Delmas or something that lives beside him. But it's that entire ditch all the way okay. down. But I did tell Doug I would uh, bring that up. But I do have pictures if you want me to send. I took about 72 pictures. I wouldn't send you all of those. Please send me four or five. If you would. Sure, sure. We <laughs> <laughs> burn a printer up. <laughs> Any other questions, Betty? Uh, <coughs> one's just comment that uh, I said the last meeting how good a job they did down the Hayes Gap. I saw the machine you were using now with my 59. A little small, a little slow, but it really does a good job at that. Besides just cutting the brush away, it mulches it up. It's not so skin up like you would with a little body brush up. Yeah. That's got to have some kind of grinding head on it. Though. It does, yes. I can just tell by the way it's working. Yeah. That's good. Saves um, us a little time sometimes. The other thing I bring up here, and I, in passing somewhere the other day, I mentioned something about uh, repainting the line up into the industrial park. You didn't know how bad it would be. I was over there the other day. I don't think there's ever been a line of pictures that I've offered. From out here up to, to the end of the state maybe. A center line. We're getting pretty close on finishing this pad and hopefully we'll have some big clients come in here. I don't know if there had been there. It may have been. There's been a lot of activity that's been going on here in the last, the last couple of years. So if it has, it, it, they totally wore the line off. Yeah. Right? We, um, they're going to be coming out here to do some striping 
uh, at the end of, I think they're actually going to restrike the entire intersection out here because of the truck track has kind of been a little hard on the line. So I can I can get them to do that one the same time when they come <coughs> out. You know what, Brad? Right? This makes everything look so much sharper with a new, yep. with a new line. Help us with marketing. That's all I got. I just had um, the high wall there, that Honda, um, with increased boat traffic and the lake traffic coming through. There is starting to pile up the shale and slag behind it. Um, we probably need to clean out with the rain events we've had. And it seems to be coming down pretty often, but it is hope doing a great job holding it back and keeping it out of the road. So tickled to death, but it does need to be cleaned out sometime soon. Yes. Any other questions or comments? If not, we can move on into item 9A, discuss and consider resolutions from VDOT to abandon the section of Route 696, Civil One One Road, and add the new section due to bridge replacement near, or work near Garland Road. And that's not too far from right here, if you follow 696 out. We, there used to be two bridges in there. One of them was a small single lane. We actually re-aligned uh, the entire intersection, so now the intersection comes off slightly behind where the railroad trestle is. Um, so just to clean up our paperwork is to actually formally abandon the section of roadway where the old bridge was and then formally accept in the new roadway that is going to slope. Everything is, is within the existing right-of-way. It's just a formality to correct, um, make sure that our records are correct. What do you need us to do? Um, take action on the resolution. Okay. Unless you have any questions for me. When we abandon, who quarters the line? Who does the line go? I'll back. If um, joining line. It depends on the type of right way that it is. If it's prescriptive right way, then it was it was only given to us to maintain through the of Virginia back in the 30s. Uh, if there's actually deeded right away, then all adjoining property owners would have the ability to buy that for that portion of right away. Um, From the department. Right. Well, now adjoining property would be what used to be the old gas station, but. The, um, it's just as soon as you go out of the tunnel. Oh, okay. I was thinking. Yeah, that, the, road, sorry, the new road that goes up the hill. Right, that's okay. the new section that we're taking in. The old section is just the short piece that goes from Rich Patch Road, and it used to go parallel to 696 and then up the hill. But there, and I, I don't know, probably 10 years ago, there was a huge tree that fell over on top of it. <coughs> it's. It's not a lot of value to it. It's just a little skinny line. It's, it's yes, a it's a very, very, very small like short skeleton. section of right the I was thinking out here, this branch, but it's the one question you uh, Can I add yeah. one comment to that? Yeah, absolutely. Susan and I worked on it. That's one of the best projects I ever worked on. We got about four things done one time. We yeah. got two bridges, one bridge. We got a sweet little lady living in the floodplain. Moved out of the floodplain. She moved closer to her family. There was a house that was falling down, stuck out in the highway. So we got that lot and tore the house down, put the view in there. We got a bridge to get out the side of the lady, the lady out in the floodplain. She got a nice home out of it, and we saved money for VDOT. That was a good project. We, we and we fixed the intersection, too. Four and fixed the intersection. Yeah, we got four things done in one project. That was good. It was fun to work on that. And I might add, the lady, I think, just recently passed away. Yeah. But she flagged me down a lot. She really enjoyed her new location. Mm -hmm. we accept the resolution? So a motion by Dr. Goings to move forward with the <coughs> resolution from Visa. Second. Second Mr. Griffin Willis. Mr. Bennett? Yes. Mrs. Cox? Yes. Mr. Dodd? Yes. Dr. Goings? Yes. Mr. Nicely? Yes. Mr. Griffin? Yes. Mr. Gardner. Yes. Um, I'm not me. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much.